Members will have been saddened to learn of the passing of Mr. Billy Bell, a former Assembly member for Lagan Valley. <clears throat> Before he joined the Assembly, Billy had already given significant public service. Not only had he been elected as a member of the Constitutional Convention in 1975 and the Assembly in 1982, he was also a long-serving member of Belfast City Council and then Lisbon Borough Council and served as Lord Mayor of Belfast and Mayor of Lisbon Borough Council. He also served on the boards of a number of public bodies, including the Northern Ireland Housing Executive. It was his wealth of experience that left him, left him particularly well placed to serve as chair of the Public Accounts Committee in the first term of this new assembly. The speaker has asked me to record that he was a member alongside Billy, both in Belfast City Council from 1983 and then in this assembly. In both places, he recalls that Billy was a man who could always be open in telling you where he stood, but always courteous and with a focus on being constructive. I myself served with Billy as a member of the Osseus Assembly Group from 1998 and had the privilege of calling him my friend and colleague. <coughs> Billy uh, was very friendly and affable. He always had time for a chat. And I view his uh, nature as being a significant uh, contribution to the re-establishment of the Public Accounts Committee, which he led. It drew that cross-party group of members together to act not in party interests, but in the public interests. And he established that principle once again in Northern Ireland, that there would be scrutiny of public expenditure and that members would act together in the interests of the public. And uh, we have to thank Billy for that re-establishment uh, of that committee and the way in which it worked. On behalf of the, the whole assembly, I express our condolences to Billy's wife, Leona, his children, uh, grandchildren, and indeed his great-grandchildren. I now invite members uh, of the assembly to make their contribution, and I call Robbie Butler. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Um, it's an honour for me today, uh, even briefly, to pay my respects, the respects on behalf of the Austrian Unionist Party and this assembly to the late William Bradshaw Bell, or Billy Bell, as he was affectionately known and called. Billy sadly left us on June the 9th, 2020, and will be forever missed by his wife, Leona. His children, Julianne, Leona, Willie, and Catherine. His grandchildren, Stuart, Charlotte, Rebecca, Anna, Leona, Debbie, Stephen, and Amy, and great-grandchildren, Ava and Keelan. And Billy, whilst readily recognisable to me uh, and people like me as a proud champion of Lisburn and Lagan Valley, was actually born in Belfast in 1935. He, he attended a primary school called Fane Street, which I uh, only learned uh, over this previous few days. My dad actually attended that school, albeit in a different decade. Um, but Billy's first foray into politics wasn't in Lisburn. It is, as the Deputy Speaker has said, was Belfast Council, where he quickly established the reputation for being a politician of great character, one that wanted to do uh, business on behalf of the entire community. Uh, and perhaps some of that was down to Billy's, Billy's previous work uh, in public relations, um, running a company called Billy Bell Promotions. I don't think any of us would give him too much credit for the, the, the thought that went into the name, but Billy, we're, we're eternally grateful for your contribution to politics. Um, and as the speaker has outlined, Billy perhaps uh, singularly has the accolade of being uh, Northern Ireland's first mayor of two cities, albeit that Lisburn uh, developed the city status laterally. Uh, first in 1979 as the mayor of Belfast and then the mayor of Lisburn in 2003. Billy, like myself, had the honour of representing the people of Lagan Valley in this assembly. And I've often heard his name mentioned by constituents and all in the same manner. He was one of those people who was held in very high esteem by friend and foe alike. And although he was a proud unionist to the core, Billy wanted to make politics work for all the communities of Northern Ireland. 
He wanted to make this a better, peaceful, and more prosperous place for future generations. And Billy, throughout the decades, made friends more readily than he made enemies. And the word that I've heard spoken about Billy more than anything was gentleman. And he will be fondly remembered not just by fellow unionists, but also people right across this house and across Northern Ireland. Billy's political career spread across some 30 years, which is no mean feat. And moreover, I don't think anybody today would disagree that navigating Northern Ireland politics from the mid-70s through the 80s, 90s, and into the new millennium would have been an easy task by any stretch of the imagination. And as we have remembered in recent months with the passing of a number of members, including uh, the Lagan Valley's Ivan Davis and Seamus Close, and more recently, uh, our friend and colleague John Dallet, that the class of 1998 were a special bunch of politicians. And whilst the media may have focused on the party leaders leading up to and beyond the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, I for one am sure that the foundations and relationships that were laid by Billy over previous years in Council and more laterally in the Assembly paved the way for the peace that was delivered that year. As was spoken to me recently by the Speaker of this House, Billy Bell was a gentleman of the highest order. And I will go one further and say that without the Billy Bells of this world, politics in Northern Ireland would be a poorer place. Thank you. I admit it to advise members with 30 minutes uh, for this discussion, and members should have uh, about three minutes each for contribution. I call, call Paul Given. Good Speaker, and uh, can I join with you in wishing uh, Deidre Hargy uh, a speedy recovery, and uh, of course my colleague uh, Christopher Stalford uh, likewise. Um, in, in rising to, to make some comments about Billy Bell, my colleague from Lagan Valley, Robbie Butler, has uh, articulated very well the, the kind of man that he was. I met him whenever I was 15 years of age, um, walking around this building, and a uh, very youthful, zealous uh, character that I was then. I uh, tried to provoke him as a, as a member of the DUP in my youth, and, and Billy Bell being an Ulster Unionist, uh, and, and Billy and Ivan took a question session from, from our school. You could not get Billy raised. He wouldn't take the bait. Uh, Ivan, on the other hand, he did, um, but uh, Billy just wouldn't take the bait. Such was the, the kind of uh, man that he was, uh, a man of integrity, a great man of character, and that phrase that a, a true gentleman is one that I have heard many people speaking about in terms of the way that he interacted with people. And long after he retired from politics, Billy kept in touch. He visited people that weren't well, people that he had built up that relationship with. Uh, and uh, I, I know those that have spoken to uh, have spoken fondly of him. I often pay tribute to those that served um, in the 70s and the 80s, particularly those councillors at a time when uh, it certainly wasn't attractive uh, to be a councillor. It wasn't financially rewarding at all to be a councillor. Uh, and you were the subject, uh, of course, of a lot of uh, targeting and, and, and so on. But Billy served in Belfast Council, known as the Bear Pit uh, of, of councils at the time, and uh, was able to be the mayor of that city. Of course, he, he was the mayor of the greatest city later in his career uh, in Lisburn. Uh, he represented the Dunmurray Cross Ward, which has moved between uh, Lisburn and Belfast in terms of the, the electoral ward that it represented. Um, but Billy, uh, again, carried off the role as uh, being first citizen uh, in Lisburn in my constituency uh, with distinction, recognised, of course, uh, for his uh, service to the public uh, when Her Majesty the Queen granted him uh, the OBE. Uh, and so I just wanted to pay my respects to uh, Billy's uh, family. I would have known as, as his daughter Julianne well in terms of the work that she does in Lisburn with young people in particular, but uh, to his uh, wife Leona, his children, his grandchildren, great-grandchildren and his friends here in the Ulster Unionist Party, uh, my sincere condolences. I call Jerry Kelly. Brilliant. Could I uh, add my voice to um, uh, good wishes to Dirty Hargey and Christopher Stalford and, uh, and congratulations to um, Colony Killen for coming back as minister again. Um, I, somebody mentioned 1998 there, and I was elected at the same time as, uh, as, as Billy Bell, and uh, I, I always remember him with a, a big map of, of white hair. And uh, I don't think there's too many of us, I'm there now with the white hair, but I don't think there's too many now left in this assembly who were actually elected in 1998. I think the numbers are, are dwindling. Uh, and, and Robbie Butler has said a lot about him, as, as has Paul. Uh, I suppose, 
without going through his history, uh, his, his history goes well before 1998. He did uh, start his political, uh, become a political rep in 1975, and that is a long time. And while he retired, he did, of course, become uh, a mayor in both Belfast and Lisburn. Uh, and, when he became, and when he retired in 2007, um, I don't think he really retired. I'm not sure if politicians are able to retire because I, I noticed in some of the remarks that you, you yourself made, uh, Robbie, in the papers that uh, he was your mentor and a mentor to a number of people. So uh, there's, there's a place always in terms of that. Um, I want to personally and also from the party send uh, condolences to his wife, uh, his son, his daughters, his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren, and just going through that list, and I think you yourself went through the list uh, last time earlier on, it shows how, how fulfilled a life he had, and uh, I'm glad from that he got a chance uh, for a fairly long uh, retirement out of, out of that. Um, he was a nice man. Uh, I suppose the best way to, to say it was we, we disagreed clearly politically. Um, but in his uh, disagreement, I never remember him being disagreeable. And uh, that is not an easy place to have through 30 years of being a politician. So my condolences to the family, and I think that is the measure of the man. I call Pat Catney. Thank you, Mr. Principal, Deputy Speaker. Um, to Leona, uh, Billy's wife. And to his children, uh, to my uh, Ulster Unionist colleagues, and to the DUP, and to all, we have missed, we will miss Billy's contribution. And he laid the foundation stones where we are in Lisburn. Um, I did know Billy when I was a publican, but not very well. So I, I, I am very sorry to hear about the passing of our colleague and friend and my mentor, Billy Bell. I first came to know Billy back in 1995, when he supported me and my family through a horrific ordeal. One that sadly in Northern Ireland happened to too many families, but hopefully now is something that is assigned to the history books, but one that taught me the importance of community. It was late at night, my wife and children were sleeping and I was about to doze when I heard a large explosion. I remember flashing and flickering lights outside the windows. There were five petrol bombs thrown on our home, three on the roof and one on the back door. One on the front door. It took the fire brigade around a half an hour to get the fire under control. I thought for sure we would leave the house, but next morning, First to my door was my local MLA, Billy Bell. I'm not sure if he was an MLA, I think he was an MLA then, but Billy was the first politician to my house from the Ulster Unionist Party, offering help and support and trying to help me in any way he could to ensure that I stayed, that I wasn't forced out. All of the churches in that area, all of them, sent messages of support. The whole community rallied together to support me. That was the start of the friendship with Billy Bell. I saw him most Tuesdays when he came into town to, town to go to the market, and our friendship grew, and he was always happy to offer advice when I myself became an MLA. Many of you here, I know you know Billy, but some don't know Billy, and hopefully remember the ordeals many of us in Northern Ireland had to endure. Hopefully you don't remember any of those. But I can tell you, he was a good man, a good friend. When I remember Billy, even though our friendship started due to an act aimed at tearing our community apart, I will always remember how he reached and rallied the local community to help make me and my family feel included and safe again, an inspiration and a true gentleman. Uh, again, I just wish to pass on to his wife and family the condolences of myself and all of my colleagues here in the SDLP. I also wish to, to Mr Speaker, our Deputy Speaker, to uh, wish a, a, a speedy recovery uh, to Derdry and uh, to the Principal Deputy Speaker. 
and uh, I wish the new Minister every success in her new role. Thank you. I call Kelly Armstrong. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. Um, I rise on behalf of the Alliance Party to pass on our condolences to Mr Bell's family and to all of his Ulster Unionist colleagues. I didn't know him. I wish I had, hearing the wonderful words that are being spoken about him today. But I would like to acknowledge the fact that he was of the new Assembly back in 1998, changing times, and we are here today on the shoulders of those people who took a courageous step at a time that had come after a couple of decades um, of this place that were not so nice. Um, I know from all of the tributes that have been made that Mr Bell um, had the, the first person to hold the two mayors of Belfast and Lisburn. And just in closing, just very quickly, it's not too many people who leave political life who are thought of as being gentlemen, inspirations and are recognised for the positions that they held and the service that they gave. So I'm really sorry for your loss to all of our friends here in the Ulster Unionist Party. Unfortunately, so many of our friends from that new assembly are leaving us, and I'm thinking in particular of Lagan Valley, who have lost so many. Thank you. I call Jim Allister. Thank you. Uh, my memories of Billy Bell go back quite a long time, though over the succeeding years they were quite sporadic, but the one abiding characteristic that always struck me about Billy Bell was how affable an individual he was, uh, and I think that betokened the, uh, the character of the man. But it's quite clear from the tribute of Pat Catney the strength of character, uh, the empathy, and the humanity of the man as well. Uh, and to lose people of that character is a considerable loss. So I do want to very much associate myself with the remarks uh, that have been made about him and to express my condolences to his wife, his children, his grandchildren, and indeed his great-grandchildren, and to his party, who no doubt have lost something of a father figure, particularly in the Lagan Valley, Lagan Valley area. If anyone else wishes to make a contribution, please indicate. Okay. And that concludes tributes uh, to Mr. Billy Bell. The first item on business is the order paper. On the order paper is a motion regarding.